Next up is to program the controller. First, we'll set the unit of measure to centigrade. And the way we do that is we're gonna hit the up and down arrow keys simultaneously. So we get function, we're gonna hit set, and then go to 231. We're gonna hit set, function 01, then we're gonna hit the up key once, and then we're gonna hit set again. And here's our centigrade Celsius, I'm sorry, centigrade Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna hit the up key again until we get the Fahrenheit symbol. And then we hit set one more time, and now we're in Fahrenheit. And I'll show you real quick. We just hold the set key, and that's gonna take us back to the home screen. You're gonna see it's in Fahrenheit now. There we go, 63. And next we'll go into the settings menu to change our settings. Now we're gonna hold the up and down key simultaneously one more time. Then we, once we get function zero one, we hit set. And then the code for our, our code for our settings menu is one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna hit set. That's gonna bring us back to the function menu. And the first thing we have to set is going to be FO5, which is our differential. We're gonna use a differential of five right there. Hit set to save the setting. FO6 is gonna be our short cycle delay, which right now is 20 seconds. So we're gonna set this to about 60 seconds. FO7 is going to be our refrigeration time in minutes. It's 240. So we're gonna go and change that to 360, which is gonna be every six hours. Next is gonna be FO8, which is our defrost time. So we're gonna leave it at 30 minutes, which is our default. And these are the only settings we have to change for this installation, is the defrost time, refrigeration time, short cycle delay, and differential. Now let's go back to the menu by holding the set key. That's gonna take us back to the main menu. I just wanna show you a couple features of this controller really quickly. This particular controller has a feature where you can force it into refrigeration or defrost mode. And we do that by holding the up key. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, wait for it. Bam, now it's in defrost. If we want to put it back in refrigeration mode again, all we have to do is hold this up key, hold it, hold it, hold it. And bam, we're back in refrigeration again. That pretty much wraps it up. You can see how easy it is to replace a conventional cold control with a full gauge MT512 digital controller. Until next time, I'm Matt Micah. Thanks for watching Full Gauge Chronicles.